a little bit more orangey than you than you should on here. I've been trying to fix it for the last ten minutes, but I hope it ain't too bad. So I'm gonna work on doing some of the detail work on it today. But Dude, should... when I when I seen your video today, I was like, oh my god, you got the emotion and everything. It was like, <laughs> yeah, it's great, man. I mean, the the shots that I that you gave were it was hard to pick between uh, a few of them. For anybody who um, isn't aware, which probably is everybody in this case, is um, um, I've started this painting about two years ago. I had a figure in there that I really didn't like. Um, and for a while, Rick and I have been talking for a good part of a year now about using Rick in, in some of my work. I really like uh, the look he had, and I could see unteen amount of uh, opportunities to put him in some of my Dante panels. Um, but then uh, just maybe last week or something, I woke up and I was like, you know, it'd be perfect for this painting. It'd be Rick. So, <laughs> <laughs> and I, I reached out to him and, and sure enough, you know, he was able to post some things and uh, send him some ideas. And uh, again, it, there's just, you, you don't take any bad photos, dude. I'm telling you, they're all great. <laughs> I, I, I really do try, I, you know, cause I look at it, you know, I look at the light and, uh, and the way the shadow is. And right. I think, and I have to think about what the artist is looking for. And right. like, you know, you, you can't imagine how many pictures I took to actually <laughs> get it. You know, I right. can. I can, man. I, I've taken enough with models to try to get the right shot. And usually it's uh, 10 times more than what you need, right? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> and uh, watching you uh, painting over the other uh, subject's face, it was like... Yeah. I was like, it, it fit, fit so perfect. I mean, right. like, it, it was just right. made it just, for that spot. <laughs> yeah, it just came alive, man. It, I, like, I, I was just looking at it. And, and as I said, I, I started this painting about uh, sometime around 2020. Um, I started this and another one um, because for anybody who doesn't know, I've, I've been um, I've been working on this series for the last six years or so. And uh, I, I've met this is panel 14 out of the series so far. Um, and it just, it just sat. There was just something that wasn't right. It wasn't resolved. And, uh, and I guess, you know, reapproaching the thing now and I had some new ideas about swapping some things out. And this is just one thing that, you know, just sat there on the wall and I'm like, I, I just couldn't come back to it until I found out what the, what to do to fix it. And, and uh, this is where it all clicked. And now I'm just, like stoked about the piece again. I've been working real hard the last two, three weeks. And um it's been it's been killer. It's been really, really nice to, you know, get in and uh just really do some great work and uh definitely this this will definitely be something people remember for sure. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> yeah. Cause like this is like the bottom of the painting, but like all the action is is like up the top. Right. Uh, but still, I mean you're focused yeah. on uh the people, uh, you know, running away, or right, and and of course, I mean, I, I look at it and I was like, the only thing I see is myself, you know, right, right, <laughs> running away from an explosion, man. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, man. How many how many people have you posed for, Rick? Uh, dude, I, I see lost the count. Last, last count was. I mean, you got to understand most of these artists, some of these artists have done me multiple times. Right. And uh, I think the last count was like almost 8,400. Wow. That's great, man. And, uh, you know, I have, you know, uh, a lot of originals in my house. Right. Uh, and most of them were given to me. Uh -huh. And uh, a few of them have, I have bought. Uh, That's sweet, man. Well, yeah, you know, I, I try, I try to, uh, what, like, I, what I do is try to support the artist too. Sure. And uh, but you know, sometimes the artists are like, no, 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 I want to give this to you. You're, you're a great subject, and right, and uh, you, you just have that look. Right. It doesn't matter what costume you have. It's just, it just seems like it just fits you. Right, and right. Not, I mean, I enjoy it, you know. And uh, Killer, man. 
when I come across an artist and you know it's like, well, this this person's really good. Uh, you know, then I'll you know follow them and watch your stuff. And nice. Then they're like, one day you get a message from them. Hey, I would like to yeah. use you. I was like, hey, you know, I'm good with that. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, I'll get back to you. How yeah. you doing, Holly? Nice to see you. I think that's who your name is. I just saw a girl here that I, I went to the supermarket a couple of weeks ago, and she's like, hey, I follow you on, on TikTok. I'm like, you got to be kidding. That's funny, man. <laughs> you never know, dude. Yeah, you never know. Very cool. Very cool. I'm happy anybody who's joining in here. I'm trying to keep up. Oh, yep. Your name is Holly. Hi, Holly. How you doing? <laughs> yeah, so I'm just, I put down about three layers of paint on this. So this is kind of getting into the last layers and stuff. So I was just going to work a little bit on some of the highlights tonight and some of the uh, beard and stuff because yeah, that's a cool item too. So, but yeah, I definitely got to use you again, dude. It, this was this was just a small part, but I, I definitely love to use you in, in some of my work again, man. I really, yeah. like, I'm you, honored. It, it really. Features. How'd you get I, into it originally? Did you get into it like just uh, well, you know, uh, just friends or something? I needed something that I needed. You know, some people have um, your mind overworks. Right, and you overthink, and so I needed an outlet. Yep. And uh, a friend of mine, he he's an artist, uh, but he's he's phenomenal, Eric. I mean, cool. Uh, he's amazing. I mean, amazing. what's his name? Uh, his name is Martin, but he he, you know, he doesn't. Well, I want to. I don't want to say. He's, I, I tell him all the time. He's wasted talent right because he just you know does one and he just you know or doesn't even finish and he stops right uh, and he he's got it in his head that he's no good oh yeah and, there's so many people that do uh, and well I, i've said it and other artists have said it you're your own worst critic yeah, you I better mean, believe it, man. A lot of people. Right. And he uh he's like, dude, there's these places that you can post pictures that people absolutely draw you. And you have one of those faces. Right. And he directed me to uh, to Reddit Get Strong. And and I post I've been posting there for like I don't know, close to ten years now. No kidding. And uh then I met another guy from there. He was telling me about another place to go to. That you know, that it's called. It was called Sketchy, but they call it Museum now. Uh, okay. And uh, right, that that particular one, um, I've been drawn over four thousand times just on that. On that. Man. That's great. So, it, I mean, making uh, the rounds, dude. <laughs> yeah. And you know, and I always want to try to step it up. Uh, right. At first, I had the goatee, you know. Right. Then uh, somebody suggested, "Hey, you, I mean, you got the perfect beard. You should right. let it grow out." So, but lo and behold, I let it grow out. But right. uh, that was like, uh, let's see, I started growing it out eight years ago. But four years ago, I shaved it all off. Right. And my wife didn't like that one bit. <laughs> she didn't know who you were. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, you know, I, I grew it back. Then I started thinking about uh, top hats and right. roller hats. Uh, what I can do to with that with that kind of setup, and I think the uh, the top hats and the bowler hat is. Uh, done a really good job for oh definitely that's for why the, I, I really saw when i saw that i was like wow this guy's just not just just a person posing but he's he's actually thinking about what he's providing so right i thought I'm it was dedicated, pretty cool. dude. <laughs> yeah no it's great i've worked with a lot of models over the years man and you know I, I work with professionals and um some people are just people i've pulled 
you know, just out of the supermarket or something like, Hey, you'd look great for painting kind of thing. And, um, and I've had great people that are amateurs and crappy people that are professionals. I mean, it's been both, uh, uh, either way, you know, it's not, not something you just, you know, you get someone good and that's it, you know? Um, right. so you just kind of, you're happy when you find somebody that's, you know, really into it, you know, cause you can tell, even when you look at the shots, some of these people post as their portfolio and stuff. And you could tell if they don't care, you know, you really, you can see it's just not there, you know? Right. And, uh, and that's, that's really what I appreciated. You know, I thought, I thought, wow, you got something special there. So. And I always, uh, you know, think about that facial expression. Right. Yeah. And, you know, I'm a nice guy. I really am. <laughs> But some of my, some of the pictures that people like are, you know, like the angry, the sure, angry sure. rig, you know, sure. uh, it was, or the grumpy rig. Right. And my mother-in-law, and anytime I show her a drawing, she goes, well, you look mean. I said, well, that's what they like. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny, man. I, you know, it's funny. Like, I, I've, I had this uh, guy I had posed for me back in 2008 or so for um, – I was painting the Emperor Nero uh, with Rome burning behind him. And his dude was like, he was, I met him at actually at a supermarket near me. And um, I uh, introduced myself and it turned out the guy was just had immigrated here from England. Wow. Um, so he was like, you know, this, the nicest guy and just like, just too happy of a fella, you know, like, but he kind of had the face, you know, that might work. And I remember him coming to work with me. We were doing a lot of test shots and stuff, trying to get a, a composition together. And and it was just, it was killing me because he just, he was just too happy of a guy, you know. It just wasn't <laughs> working. And then I just remember, like somewhere near the end of the shoot, his wife gave him a call, and I don't know if they got in some kind of fight or something, or she was yelling at him on the other end of the phone. And he just went over and sat in his chair and slumped in his chair like he was just absolutely pissed and defeated and he was like perfect i was like damn look at him man he was, it was like it was Stay so there. good it was like meant to be you know but you never know you know just sometimes you know sometimes things work sometimes they don't yeah uh, you're right you know there's you know there's artists that you know uh they wanted to use me and then they're like eh, it's not working right uh, which you know it's cool you know Sure. It don't hurt my feelings. I mean, if you wanted to take it a different way. That's fine. Sure. Uh, uh, I have no limits. You know, I'll I'll wear a dress or whatever. You know, it's, uh, I have this one artist, and anytime I wear a dress, she's absolutely right. painted. <laughs> oh, I'm seeing here. You got uh, Maria. How you doing, Maria? Asking me about oh, um, so impressed with your pace. Oh, yeah, my pace. <laughs> uh, you're impressed. Are, are you talking about what I'm working, uh, what I'm working on, or just my schedule in general? Well, I'm sure your schedule is like it's insane. insane. I, I <laughs> work from <laughs> from the time I get up to the time I go to bed, so it's uh, somewhere from like seven till one or. 12, 1 in the morning a lot of times. But you know what? When you, when you love what you do, it, it doesn't doesn't hurt. Right. And the time oh. flies, I'm sure. Oh, it does. It does. Well, yeah, I, I, I work a lot. Maria, definitely. I, I get a lot uh, of studio time in. I also teach, too. So, like, um, right. I teach twice a week, uh, at least probably beginning of the day till the end of the day. Uh, I sneak some time in in between here and there. Um, but, uh, I have to do some weekends sometimes when it gets really, really rough, like the holidays, I, I had like, uh, about 17, uh, commissions or so going at the same time. <laughs> yeah, it was insane, man. but that's how it is every year. You know, you, get, you try to clear your plate before November and then it just gets crazy, really, really crazy. So it's just real fast paced. Um, but I do have some apprentices as well that are really fantastic. I just, uh, brought another one on, um, at the end of the year, uh, Claire, really wonderful lady. Um, I have uh, Marky, my my lead apprentice. Uh, she's from the Czech Republic. She's been here uh, for a couple of, a couple of years with me. Actually, this month is four years she's been with me. Um, and I have uh, 
Claire, as I said. I have another one, Ava, who comes sometimes. And I have my daughter, Nadia, um, who just graduated from high school and, uh, and now is also has her own career growing. And uh, um, she's on here as well somewhere. I'm Nadia, our music, if you looked her up. But um, I so think I'm get actually some... following her. Oh, cool, cool. I appreciate that. She's a sweet kid, man. She's just the nicest girl. And uh, I'm so proud of her. She's just... This year, she's doing so well. Um, she's had her first first year as a professional. She's been shown for a few years in some group shows and stuff. But um, she had an incredible year this past year. Sold a lot of work, maybe close to maybe a dozen and a half of her her artworks. And um, <laughs> it was it was a very good year for her. So she's just really really excited and just a, a wonderful kid. So I'm I'm uh, I'm a real proud dad. I tell you the truth, she's just. Uh, a great kid and i got my other daughter helping me with social media and stuff she's really doing an amazing job and my son i'm trying to get him in the studio uh, but he's uh all into teaching himself guitar right now so that's all he, <laughs> that's all he wants to do is be a rock star so i'm like all right you know he'll come around <laughs> right right but he's very talented i i, I uh, it'd be a shame if he doesn't do something with it you know i i knew from an early age when i was doing it it's it was like you know you got to got to get that out you know it, i mean do i mean your work is like uh i, I is, oh, how can I describe it um I, without being like um rude to another artist um sure. like put you like there with uh, uh michelangelo and yeah uh, there's parts I, of this yeah, I, I, I really, I'm, I'm definitely an artist of the past uh, when it comes to inspirations. I've always um, really got into the works of uh, Caravaggio. Caravaggio, um, that's the one yeah, I was trying to think of. Exactly. Um, they, those, those artists are just incredible. A lot of the Baroque artists. I really like the, the drama. Um, when I luckily got to study in Italy for a semester. Uh, I just really spent a lot of time with those works and it was, it was so great because, you know, you could just sit there and dissect them, you know, for right. as long as you wanted. And a lot of them are in these like really small churches and stuff. Like when I was studying art history, I'm, lo I'm looking at all this work and thinking, oh, it's in this, you know, real hard to get to kind of museum setting or something. And then I get there and I'm like, holy crap, it's, right there you know it's right there in front of you you could just sit right. there in a in a church pew for an afternoon and just sit there and just stare at it and break it down and try to figure out how they did it um and it just blew my mind i, I just couldn't even believe you know the, the kind of abilities these people had and and i just i don't know i guess I, I looked at all that and i went you know why isn't that kind of art still being done today and it's all this you know, bullshit excuse that, you know, well, people can't do that anymore or, you know, it's, you know, the, the commissions aren't out there or whatever else it is. And I just, from the very beginning, I just felt real stubborn about it. I'm like, I, I want to do this kind of stuff, you know? And, and, yeah. uh, and I just started out and everybody told me, told me I'd fail. Even my professors, uh, one of my really respected told me if I tried to do art, art like this, I'd never have a career. And uh, that really, it really hit hard. You know, I was like, damn, like here is, you know, someone I looked up to was saying that. And so I just did, the, did the other thing, you know, <laughs> and just right. did it anyway. And, um, and so then, right, so then right. that you can do it. Right. And now like sitting here now, you know, next year will be 30 years. I've been in the business. It's like, you know, yeah, I made a living out of it. So, you know, it ain't, uh, ain't something that uh they, they had a right to you know constrain me on i wasn't going there you know i just uh i loved it too much you know when you see that kind of work it just it just moves you so much when you see it in person especially right it just seems so like otherworldly and i don't know I, I it's all i wanted to do and i didn't know how or anything and it was really tough getting into business too because there was you know, there's a lot of people at the time when I was breaking into it and even years later, it just there was really no help from a lot of artists in this business. And 
it really kind of pissed me off early on that, you know, just there's this total lack of, of support. And I just thought, wow, I'm not, you know, if I get somewhere in this business, I'm not, I'm not going to be that person, you know? Right. I, I really wanted to help uh, other artists and stuff. And that's why, you know, I started teaching and stuff and, and uh, mentoring a lot of people. And uh, it was, it was the best thing ever. Cause you know, I could have, could have been a jerk like them too and and just you know, kept it all in <laughs> absolutely and, you know i mean and and it just passed that on again to you know another generation of artists that's sitting there flailing because there's just so many people that do you know it, it really it kills me you know hey hey juan how you doing buddy but you know i, I just I, I really feel deeply about that you know seeing seeing so many people and i i I work with so many of them that are just all they have are the questions, you know, just simple questions. A lot of, right. a lot of their same damn things, but you know, some people just want to hold on to everything. They, they get a little bit of something and they just want to like hoard it. And I don't know. I just, I've seen so much, I've seen so much failure over the years and things that I, I tried to do didn't work and, you know, really, really kill myself sometimes, you know, to, to, to get where I was. Hey, Emily, ciao. How are you? It's all about the uh, the failures too. Yeah, your mistakes. <laughs> you learn from your your mistakes and your failure, and you just move oh, yeah. on. You're but, damn right about that, man. I <laughs> I I think some of my failures were my best my best uh, experiences. You know, I'm looking at them now. I've overcome a lot of them, and um, it's so good now to say, well, you know, if I hadn't failed at this one thing or, or, you know, if I had stopped trying, I wouldn't have figured out this or that, you know, right. just little by little, those things all started to gel. And I don't know. It just really, really, uh, it, it, I'm, I'm grateful for everything to be here. And it's really so nice. I'll tell you this, this, uh, social media site in general has been really good. I mean, I'm really Oh yeah. Some I, good, I, good people here. I love TikTok. It, yeah. I mean, the artist community, I mean, they, they're, you know, they support each other. And, yeah. And, and it's, and it shows, I mean, it's, it absolutely shows that the people, uh, yeah. you know, support each other. And yeah, right. it's like, uh, you know, like Instagram, my Instagram account, you know, yeah. uh, people on there, you know, they, they absolutely support everyone right, right it's like me you know if somebody does something to me i absolutely try my best to post it get their yeah, name man. out there oh, and, yeah uh, as i think it's kind of like a, a it's respect right you know and uh yeah, but but I mean your your work you make your little work look like it's about to pop up. I mean, <laughs> absolutely reach out and just grab you. Well, and I appreciate that. I can sit and look at your stuff all day long. And that means a lot, man. Seriously. Well, we gotta work again in the future, really. I, I definitely love to do some more stuff with your buddy. And uh, you know, it's like what we talked about uh price. Right. Normally, honestly, I, I don't usually charge anybody. And I probably charge maybe 10 people out of everything <laughs> right. that I've ever done. And good. And then I didn't feel comfortable with it. I was, I was like, either, uh, you know, uh, donate, that's fine. You know, support yep. my cause. We'll just call it donate right. or, or print, you know, or something. It is. Right. And that's how I collected <laughs> most I'm of the blame. stuff. Well, I told you, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't doing anything for free, man. Everybody's got time, and yeah, their time's important. So, you know, I hope, uh, I hope their book gets to you soon. I think it, it went out yesterday morning. So, hopefully, yeah, it probably be soon. here. Probably, probably Friday. It'll probably be here. Yeah. My mail, my mail's slow. <laughs> <laughs> it's always like that around here. The mail and look, colors and clay work. <laughs> Go ahead. What'd you say? Uh, there's a, I forget what town it is, but they haven't had mail for like two months. Jeez. Yeah. 
I guess it's because, you know, I guess nobody wanted to risk their life to go out <laughs> in this particular part of town. <laughs> right. Everything's zone efficient anymore. We got we got our post postal service. It's like uh they route everything through the capital of Pennsylvania. So anytime you want to send something to somebody, if I want to send something to someone down the street, they'll ship it down to the capital and then bring it back into town here two, three days later. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Uh, it's so stupid, you know. It, it, uh, let's see, it, uh, I live in Kentucky, yeah. and not too far is uh, West Virginia. It's yeah. like forty-five minutes. Right, Huntington, West Virginia, and then it goes to Charles or Charles Charleston, West Virginia. Mm -hmm. Well, it it could be sitting in Charleston, West Virginia, for four days before it gets here. <laughs> That's efficiency for you. That's your government hard work for you, right? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh gosh. Uh, I I tried. You know, in most of these pieces, I have uh, I have my favorites, and uh, I kind of like category. You know, right. Uh, so but, most yeah, have been I, realistic kind of painters, or what? Like, what has been the majority of the artists that worked with you? Um, yeah, most of them have been realistic. Yeah. So, uh, well, I uh, see if I could pick one up, pick it out to see. Um, there's this one. She lives in Australia, and she does pencil work. Yeah, and she her detail on on the facial expression and or the eyes are phenomenal. I mean, like, uh, I my favorite. Well, I can tell you what my favorite my favorite medium is watercolor. Cool. Uh, reason being is watercolor is hard to manipulate into right. a spot where you need it to go. And I've seen some people do some crazy ass shit. I'm oh you. yeah, absolutely. I got a I got a real good one of my students is uh, she she uh, is literally drawn like the inside of a um, I think St. Patrick's Cathedral in New York. So imagine all that detail being done in, <laughs> yeah. in watercolor. It's crazy. I mean, she's absolutely one of, one of the most intense students I work with. Man, she just is ferocious. The lady's just unreal. But uh, yeah, I, I totally admire that man because I I work in oil, so I no experience with any any watercolor man. <laughs> <So, laughs> to me, it just seems like completely on the other end of the spectrum of this. So, my mom, she she used to be a painter. Oh, she nice. used to paint. Nice. And I tried, but I just didn't have the patience for it. Right. Uh, it just wasn't my thing. And sure. Uh, so doing this is like uh, my kind of art, you know. Right, right. What I do is my art, and uh, to have a thousand thousands of people draw and paint me, an accomplishment. Will, man. will I will I be remembered when I'm dead and gone? Probably Heck not. Yeah. yeah, maybe, maybe not. Heck yeah. Or you know, somebody will be like. Thousand hundred years from now, and they're going to see all these. <laughs> who is this? Who is this? Son of a bitch? You know, uh, it was a so you know, the um, you've seen this artist right here, yeah. So that's if you look closer, that's me. Oh, nice. So they did Da Vinci's uh, piece <laughs> yeah, <with your> face. <laughs> that's great, dude. And it's like a, you know, like uh, I, I don't know what kind of paper it's on. It, it looks like it's like cloth is what it feels yeah, like. Yeah. It's like a parchment almost, something like that. Right. And uh, when he sent that to me, I was like, I mean, I was like, dude. <laughs> That's great. It was, you have to ask yourself, what is going on through this guy's head? Uh, right. But he's done, he's done several of me. He's done, uh, did Captain America. Nice. I, I was dressed in Captain America's uniform. 
uh, with the oh. with the goatee hanging out. <laughs> I'll see it. I'll see it, Emily. Buena notte. <laughs> Oh, that's cool, man. So it's it's Captain America with your face on it? Yep. <laughs> that's crazy, dude. Or, that's really uh, great. you know, um, the American God scene. Uh, yeah. The farmer and the... Uh, farmer yeah, fight. yeah, the front front, front uh, lawn kind of thing. Yep. Uh, nice. I've, been, I've been turned into one of those. And, uh, or, oh, yeah, here we go. Uh, I call this one... I call this one the executioner. Oh, neat. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Crazy, man. You've had some wild wild work, man. Is you're gonna have your own uh, public art collection there that Well uh, I'm actually yeah, working on say a, it or people are gonna remember you. I'm, gonna, I'm working on a room where I can actually hang up everything. Because right, right now, you know, I have a wall and a half full from uh -huh. ceiling to floor. <laughs> That's great. I, I tell my wife, I said, you'll never miss me. You just open your <laughs> eyes and there I am. Yeah. yeah. Man of many faces, right? Exactly. Uh, it's something <laughs> called uh, the man, the myth, the legend. You know, <laughs> I hear that every time I get in somebody's life. It, it, yeah. It'd be somebody different. And, they, and I hear that. And yeah. I, you know, I had to chuckle about it. And <laughs> yeah, that's great. But I've been, it, it's, you know, I have, yeah, I haven't been around the world, but I feel like I've been around the world. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, was, geez, you're talking about people um, in Australia and stuff using you for work. So, I mean, you're getting out there, man. Seriously. Australia, Russia. Canada, uh, Spain. Sweet. Yeah, I'm not going there, but being there. You know, it, right, right. That's a great thing about uh, the internet. You know, you get those experiences. I mean, I just I just grabbed a new student today from Germany, and most of my students I work with are are not from around here, so it's. You know, even even before the pandemic, I was doing that. I mean, it's it's just so awesome to be able to have that opportunity. You can't do that, you know, in a normal setting. You know, you could you could work from anywhere and still still do great things. You know, it's pretty great yeah, about I, all this. How many different languages do you speak? I only spoke a little bit of Italian. Uh, oh, hey, Angela, how you doing? Uh, I. Uh, I spoke some when I was there. I, I literally knew none at all. And they dropped us in there uh, the first day. And, uh, and we were living in an Italian uh, family's house with them. And uh, we didn't know anything. And we didn't want to talk about uncomfortable sitting there at the dinner table. We didn't know <laughs> what the hell to do. you know. But it, I'll tell you what, it, it didn't take very long. You know, before you knew it, we were... Um, you know, going to the cafes and stuff and hanging out, you knew how to order things and stuff. I mean, basically how it all starts anyway, you know, you just, right. you, know, you don't know anything. And then you, next thing you're ordering food and drinks and stuff. And then you, then you kind of figure it all out. And that's, that was, that was a great experience. And I, I'd really like to get back. Uh, I was planning on getting back actually right before the pandemic hit. Uh, we were all supposed to go to, uh, uh, Prague, and then that didn't work. I was going to go to Italy next, um, but that, that all fell apart. So I'm I'm hoping to get back out. I'd really like to I really like to do some workshops out in Europe. Um, I definitely have had a lot of good opportunities over the years to do them domestically and stuff. But we'll see. Listen, one of the places I want to go before I do is Italy. Oh yeah, got Scotland for sure. Oh, Scotland's beautiful, and. It's another one I want to do. And uh, Australia. I definitely want to go to Australia. Yeah. I want to try to avoid the uh, uh, the deadly animals. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I mean, I could run, but I probably wouldn't be able to rough run them. <laughs> what, they, what they call it is like, uh, I won't have to outrun them. I just have to outrun you. <laughs> right. That's it. That's it. 
Yeah, I'd, I'd love to love to do a lot more traveling. I, oh, I mean, I, I went to Canada back in 2018. Really? Uh, I was uh, invited to do a art festival up there to be a live model. And uh, cool. So they flew me out. They gave me a place to stay. They fed me. I was there for five days. Damn. The fest the festival was only for two days. Damn, you were working and, hard, man. And they took me to all kinds of places. Sweet. Uh, and I told them how you know, I like to eat steak grilled. Mm, me grilled too. Steak. And uh, I told them how to cook it because nice. I used to be a chef in a restaurant. Cool. Uh, and uh, they loved it. And now, anytime they make uh, baked potatoes, they boil the potatoes. They don't bake them. They boil nice. them now. <laughs> Angela, where'd you go to Italy? Where'd you go to Italy? And uh, we're at in Italy, Angela. Uh, let's see if she's right in that. <laughs> and and uh, this guy here has his first year is I found Rick because of the Rubik's Cube, dude. I saw uh, it. What do you what do you mean by that? Five hundred this guy did a portrait of me with five hundred Rubik's Cubes. What? Five hundred yeah, I'm serious, dude. It, it, they're oh, little man. miniature Rubik's Cubes and he did a portrait of me in a, in a Rubik's Cube. No way. No, I'm, I'm serious, dude. He, he does mostly like um, Dragon Ball Z characters. Right. But uh, and when he saw my page, he was like, I've got to do this, dude. You know? <laughs> and, and he did. And I was like, I was floored. That it's is just, wild, man. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy what people can do. Right, I mean, right. Yeah, that's some wild stuff, man. People got some crazy imaginations, man. That's pretty neat, though. Oh, Tuscany and Pescara Batoli to see if we had family left. Oh, wow. Is that somewhere in the middle of the country? I, I stayed I stayed in the middle of the country in Umbria, um, where I was living, which was near uh, Perugia. And I went to school there and then traveled all around the country Uh for a few months we were all around north and south got to see florence got to see rome uh, Vene uh, Vene uh yeah i went to see venezia venice uh just awesome you know you can't you can't walk out of there and and not if you, you've got any kind of ideas or talent uh you can't walk out of there and not be inspired by that it just blows your damn mind right really crazy yeah, it's definitely a place. I, I'd say one of the most beautiful places on earth. You, you definitely have to go there if you're anywhere. Really, really beautiful. The people are just amazing there too. They're just so so darn kind. They invite you right into their house. They have dinner. Just so amazing. You know, it just really blew my mind that you know this could be a, a wonderful thing. I can come back to the United States and just start doing this kind of work. You know? <laughs> Like, I just want to do big stuff, you know? Because you, well, you, you do big thing. stuff, man. Yeah, I mean, yeah. what I was that? <laughs> like eight foot? I yeah, mean. exactly. I want to do even bigger, you know? This is, this is, uh, this guy is only five feet tall, but, you know, I, uh, I want to do bigger and bigger stuff. You know, I, I know I'm capable, but I've, the biggest I've done is about eight feet by 14 feet. But <laughs> I, I'd like to do even larger. I almost had a guy. A couple months ago, um, this guy, he ran an IT company. So I thought, all right, you know, he shows me this house. It was amazing. Um, but uh, he was looking to get a huge Last Supper. It would have been like 25 feet long, you know, 70 wow. feet. Yeah. And I was like, man, this is it. Finally getting it, you know. But uh, I guess he thought, you know, artists work for free. So I'm like, nah, that ain't happening. Nope. <laughs> like, this is the price. And, you know, I... I it didn't didn't pan out, so I'm like, well, whatever. Uh, I mean, I had a, I think the biggest piece I, that's ever been done to me uh, was a mural in uh, New Jersey. 
Uh, oh, yeah? American Dream Mall. There's a place called Tilt. It's, yeah. Uh, uh, it's like 3D art. Uh, yeah. So I was... That's actually one of the paid, paid ones I got. Uh, uh, it was me, my face, and my hands, you know, like... No like way. So it was real big and... Uh, with the artist on tick or on Instagram, I was actually was able to fly out there and see it in person. Nice. Uh, and uh, yeah, that was, and I got to meet uh, one of my favorite artists. Uh, she was there because she lived not too far away from there, and uh, I actually met quite a few artists from from uh, Instagram there. And uh, cool, it, it was pretty good experience to see that. All right. Got a whole got a whole fan club there, man. I'm sure everybody <laughs> loved working with you, man. That's cool. Yeah, I'm not. You know, I know as as I get older, the, the more wrinkles I have, and the more people will draw. Yeah. That's it, man. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, you you you're giving them all the info they need. Well, that's that's the coolest part, you know. I got I have one model I've worked with for years. Uh, this guy up the street for me, and he's he's amazing. He's like a, a, a historian and everything else, and he's just the coolest guy. Like you could just sit there for hours and talk to him about anything. It doesn't matter what it is. Like, just really, really enjoy his company. I, I've used him for like the last fifteen years or so. He's been everything from Saint Jerome to <laughs> Saint Peter to in my Dante series to portrait art. To, you just got that really great face with a lot of character, you know, and I just, I love the guy as a person. I think he's just an amazing dude. And, you know, it's, it's just, I, I enjoy his company. You know, he just comes and like, we, we get talking, it could be there all night. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just, just and not, not so many, you know, great conversations in the world, you know, it's like, you're really happy when you find a good one. Yeah. You know? uh, yeah. Uh, I think, I think the next one I'm going to try to do is actually I got a couple of characters I want to do, but along with that, and I want to do like uh, like something for my top habit, you know, in a chair, yeah. you know what I mean? You know, like that sounds cool. Uh, you know, you know, with your your legs crossed and your hands on your on your knee or whatever, or reading right. a book or something like that. Uh, that's like going to be my next level, you know, buy the whole costume to do that. Sure. Instead of just you know this shirt and the jacket and you don't see the pants. Uh, right. But, I'll tell you uh, what, I really like that that one on your Instagram profile with the uh, the light coming from above. That one's pretty cool. Like some of the light, the way oh, it hits your face is, oh, is pretty it, awesome. It come down. Uh, like, yeah. Do I have my hand like up in my face or something? Yeah, like that? yeah, yeah. Your hands are. It, up you know, I took that at work. No way. That's great. Where where I work at. Uh, I work in what's called a smokehouse. Uh, I smoke oh, cool. hams. I smoke hams all day. And nice. uh, one day the power went out, and the sun yeah. was shining through the uh, exhaust. I was like, "That is pretty cool." I said, "I want to <laughs> see. I want to see how these shots will be." You know, and I, I said I had my uh, my remote to my phone in my pocket, so I was able to, you know, yeah. like set it up somewhere where it was a good nice. spot and just. And I was like, yeah, that is badass. That is killer, man. Seriously. That's I love good lighting. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it makes a huge difference for everything. You know, you get the right the right shot. Yeah, that's really what I don't have in the studio tonight. Like, you literally look like you're an Oompa Loompa from Willy Wonka. <laughs> <laughs> you're totally orange. Like you're orange, no doubt in the piece, but it's like it's it's crazy orange the way the freaking camera showing it pisses me off. But <laughs> I, I know I knew what the I know what the camera does, and the, the camera it adds ten pounds to your, and it changes your color. I mean, right, right. <laughs> I, I'm I'm really not this pale. I promise you. <laughs> Uh, that's man. why you know i'm ready for summer for spring and summer because when Amen. I, I work two jobs in really? during the spring summer work yeah, a full-time job and I, I mow grass on the side cool so i'm outside and i get my yeah. tan right, you know, right. i need sun. my tan hey it's good for you man 
dude, vitamin D. <laughs> I'm not getting any of it right now. Everything's dreary as hell in this state. It's terrible. I hate it, man. I like the sun. I love the sun. Yeah. I worked in up. construction all my life as a kid, man. So I just totally used to being in the sun all the time. If it was up to my wife, it would be like 50 degrees all the time. Right. But I don't want to freeze. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, we're doing pretty good up here right now. It's usually pretty damn cold this time of year, but it's, it's yeah, uh, it was, decent. Um, like 58, 50, no, yeah, like 58 today. Nice. But yeah. the weather fluctuates. I mean, yeah, it sucks. <laughs> Yeah, we're we're in the, like the forties, which is pretty cool because it can get down in the teens and the in the single digits this time of year. It's just really nice not to have that. This dude yeah, well, gets so damn cold. A couple of weeks ago, we got down real low and it busted my pipes. Oh, uh, so oh, so, Christmas you know, time. It was on Christmas Day. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, it was cold, man. It was really cold. Every I think the whole part of the country i got family in florida man and they were they were in i think the 30s it was it, crazy it, it was on christmas day and, and you, you couldn't fix it because there's nowhere to buy the stuff to fix it with right right so you know you turn your water well we had our water running so it would drip so it wouldn't do that right well guess what <laughs> it did it uh so you know next day i went to our hardware store fixed it and but I still had to wait till it thaw out the pipe. Right. I mean, yeah. What's going on, Wes? Good seeing you, man. Thanks for joining in, buddy. <laughs> but that, I mean, it, that look, I mean, on my face, man, it was like, you could just see the fear in yeah, it's, it's hey Wes. It's cool. Wes is gonna be the next one, right, Wes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, pencil back. She she just mostly just does uh, portrait uh, pet right. portraits, but uh, she already made it, put it in her head that she was actually going to try to do one of me. Uh, All right. To add to the collection, she said. No, so, that sounds good, man. I, I like it when I can get somebody out of their comfort zone. From a, I do pets only, and right. that's all I do. And then, then she'll go and say, "I have to do one of you, and you would be the only, <laughs> the only human portrait I would do." Right. Well, it's neat too because uh, some of those people have. Uh... Hey, thanks, Wes, man. They, uh, it's neat to see someone's perspective, you know, and it's it's different, and you know they're they're coming at it uh, from a different angle, you know. That's that's cool. Right. I mean, I've seen a lot of your pieces, and they're they're all over the place. I mean, just all kinds of different approaches. It'd be boring if it was the same damn thing all the time. Right, right, right. And and, and uh, I mean, I have, <laughs> of course, everybody. There's thousands of pictures out there to choose from, right? And to see somebody's imagination, hey. I'm, what they do to that picture. Right. It's, uh, I think that's what it's all about. It's imagination. It and, is. And I, I met a guy in um, off the, the first time I, I was going to, and he did a picture of me. Where, right after I left Canada, I went to a aviation museum Yeah. where they had this... Um, Aviation suit. It was. It was like vintage. I mean, really? like, um, like from like when planes started in the 1900s. Right. Yeah. Uh, but uh, he took. I don't really see. Oh, neat. So he put that on. <laughs> put that. Put that on. Made it a steampunk um, uh, pilot. Nice. And, Make a cool uh, album cover, man. And, and I mean, I just love what people could do. Uh, I had another right. artist that 
she, I think it's the biggest painting I got. It's probably the, I got two big paintings, real big ones. Right. But, uh, it took her over a year to do this one. And I have brown eyes, natural brown eyes. Right. And the way the light was hitting them, they were kind of turning them gold. And that's what she did. And she turned my eyes gold. Nice. This is a, a black and gray paint, painting, oil painting. And she made my eyes gold. It's crazy. And she gave that to me. She said oh, it was nice. a gift. Yeah, damn cool, man. <laughs> but I okay. hope to you know to continue to inspire people and and uh, you know better myself. And we've had some good experiences, man. I mean, at least at least that's the that's the best part of it. You know, some some artists you deal with aren't or aren't as personal. You know, it's it's pretty cool that everybody's kept a good relationship with you and. And area. believe it or not, Eric, I'm this cold dead truth. All my pictures are from a phone. Nice. And it's amazing what you could do with them anymore. I mean, oh, yeah, honestly. You, I mean, you just got to fiddle around with it. I mean, and you know, I like tech, and but you know, TikTok, uh, how people do their videos, I'm still trying to learn that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm too, man. It's try to play stuff, you know, in, in certain spots of the video. I was like, okay. Yeah. Uh, my kids, my kids know way more than me. They're like, <laughs> oh, you should do this. You should, you know, hey, you know, post this and put this to the story and everything else to promote stuff. I'm like, yeah, you, you get to go do it. <laughs> <laughs> like, I've been working with this shit so long. I've been promoting for my entire career throughout all the technology changes when the the internet started and, you know, going from mail mailing stuff to emailing stuff to social media and everything else. And yeah. I, I kind of hit a point where I'm like, you know what? I, I I've learned, I think as much as I can learn. <laughs> yeah. So like kids are, kids are faster with it. You know, getting there. Oh, yeah. It's, it's just, I mean, I'll be 50 in April. Me. Hey, congratulations. I'll be 50 in October, man. Happy birthday, <laughs> Hell yeah. brother. Happy birthday. Nice. You're born in 73. I didn't know that. Yeah. Sweet. Born in 73. Born in, yeah. I was born in October 73. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. no wonder we get along. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yeah. 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 We've been around the same time. That's crazy. That is so you, know, wild, being, you know, being 50 years old, I, people don't even, I mean, they think I'm in my 30s. You know, right. Like right. 30s. I did the same thing. Uh, it's only because, uh, and I always felt it's all how you present yourself. Right. If you present yourself, you're going to be old. You're going to be old. If you, well, you haven't talked about it the whole conversation here. So you're obviously not treating yourself that way. I run around so many people that just constantly tell me how damn old they are. It's, it's like, gosh, you know, like you're giving up already. <laughs> right? Right. Uh, I'm not giving up. I mean, Hell no. Uh, age is just a number, you know. It is it's how it you is. present yourself. And right. if you, <laughs> Thanks, I, I, okay. I can out, I can outwork these twenty-year-olds where I work at. Oh yeah, and, you too. know, because they, they complain. Yeah. So much, and it's like, oh my god, dude. I was yep. like, how old are you? I'm 22. I said, dude, I'm almost 50. I can run right. circles around you. Oh, no, you can't. I said, Dude, you're tired. <laughs> Dude, I tell you what. I am, at this point in my life, I'm the strongest I've ever been. I, I train harder than I ever do. You know, I, I worked a lot of hours growing up in construction and stuff with my dad. So uh, from the time I was about nine, I learned, I learned hard labor. You know, absolutely out there beating yourself up in the hot sun, the cold, snow, yep. and everything else. And then... You know, to to have this opportunity to be able to do this for a living instead of, of killing my body, you know, I still try to to stay in in shape and stuff. But it's like everybody tells you, you know, oh gosh, once you're past thirty, you can never do anything. Right. It's so goofy, man. I'm like, I, I'm seriously tell better than ever, man. I feel young. I feel strong. I feel happy. You know, content and you know, ready to take on the world every day. I tell you, I. I I've worked 20 hours a day sometimes doing this stuff and it doesn't 
it doesn't phase me. I'm ready to do it the next morning, you know? Uh, I say it was right before Christmas. I was doing uh, 16 hour days and 12 hour days. I nice. think one week was 97 hours I did, and, 80, nice. and I did 88 hours the week before. Yeah. And I was raised on a farm, 360 yeah. acres. Oh, that's hard work, man. It's hard work. It, you got up for the chickens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you went to bed with the chickens. Right. And I, I learned so much from my grandfather, you know, on work, work ethic. They were the greatest yeah. generation, too, man. I'll tell you what, we were fortunate to grow up with that generation because I'll tell you what, they, they faced down so damn much. They taught you right from wrong and, and, yep. and the value and bust of you, hard work. They bust your ass when you did something wrong. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You had to be accountable. You can't do that now. It's called abuse. <laughs> no, exactly. Exactly. You had to be accountable for everything. And I, I'll tell you, I, I teach my kids that same way. You know, it's like, you know, I, I, I really want them to understand, you know, the value of things. And I, I think they really did. They got it. I mean, they're really, really good kids. So I'm, I'm really fortunate to have them. And, you know, but it's it's just so so you know so amazing to kind yeah, kids, of look at things that way you know i mean some of these kids nowadays you know they expect you to hand it to them oh yeah uh, they want everything they want to be vice president the first day you know it's i'm not happening. like that that's no. not how i was raised i was raised you work hard you get what you earn <laughs> right right i believe that too man i mean it's a hustle every day you know, you, yeah. you, you get out, I, I got a business I built and I got, I got to treat that like my, my baby, you know, it's my fourth child. I got to nurture that every day so that, you know, it, it continues to have the right thing growing and, you know, and I keep growing as a person and, and doing what I'm supposed to while I'm here and, you know, doing the best I can with my gifts, but it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a wonderful life, man, but you know, you got to have respect for it. Yeah, all fall. Yeah, apart, I got you know? I got ton of respect for you because I mean, <laughs> dude, uh, you got the patience for it, and, <laughs> and it, it shows. And it shows you have the patience for it. I mean, I, it, and I'll say it again. You know, when I see your stuff, I look, I show it to my wife. I said, "Look at this guy. <laughs> he did this in a matter, you know, couple of days." I mean, right, right. How was that? <laughs> I mean, he does it just a big ass sheet of paper. <laughs> right, right. It's it's and I, nuts, and I know it's hard. So one of these days he's gonna add me and I, I'm telling you, it's gonna be the best one yet. <laughs> <laughs> hey Jamie, how you doing? Yeah, it's it's, Hi, uh, Jamie. <laughs> it's an awesome opportunity, man. I'm telling you, every every single day to you know, to see everything materialize and stuff and it's it's just so good. Yeah, I'm really, really thrilled about it. I got, I got some opportunities uh, this year. Uh, I might even be involved in some restoring some old work, some old master stuff that um, someone contacted me about. I got to meet him this weekend, but um, some cool stuff, you know, like work European work that was brought wow. over here. You know, from you know, some of it looks like it's even as old as the 1600s. So. Um, it's pretty darn cool to have someone contact you and say, you know, Hey, I think you're capable of fixing, you know, restoring this piece. that's uh, was mishandled and stuff back in the day. And yeah, it's like, that's, that's pretty neat. You know, it's, 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 it's neat that the, the work never is the same thing all the time. You know, it, right. I, 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 I like that there's different opportunities every day uh, to try different things and learn different things. Like, I still feel like I'm learning every day. Oh, I mean, I yeah. learn something every day too. You know, yeah, yeah. I good thing, it. you know, <laughs> it's a good thing. Yeah. You know, you never, never stop being a student. You never stop progressing. Yeah. You know? I don't want to be one of these guys that peaks and then, you know, you're like, well, it used to be good before, but he, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he hasn't done anything great since. You know, I, I still want to, you know, figure stuff out and get better. That's what it's about, I guess. Yeah, this is coming together nice. I wish he had a better camera on. I don't know if you 
Hey, Jamie. Yeah. Uh, do I play music too? A uh, long time ago, I used to. My son does now. I've been out of the music scene for a long time, but I listen to a lot of music. I don't know. Can you see it better now? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Most of it. I mean, just crazy, Look, man. I'm going to zoom back here. See. I'm trying to see where we're at here. Uh, so, what is he okay. doing? He's crawling. He's crawling away from the black. Yeah, here's uh, I get, I get that. Let me see if there's a better way of showing it here. Uh, it's kind of easier to see a little bit. Yeah. You can see he's got a. Uh, now, the way it is here is that um, you've got uh, Dante and Virgil are going into the city of Dis, which um, I don't know if it's. You can even see it here. But um, there yeah, was this big it, wall it, yeah. up here. Yeah, there's this big wall, and uh, they're trying to get through, and there's all these demons on the wall here that aren't letting them through. And uh, Virgil, for one of the first times in the, in the, the Inferno, doesn't have control uh, of the situation. He's kind of leading Dante through all the, uh, the Inferno. Um, so he has to summon uh, an archangel from heaven to come down. So it's one of the few times something from heaven comes down, and he, he just comes down and just obliterates this uh this uh the the gates uh blasting it open so that he can uh the, the two of them can get in so it's basically all these uh figures are just scurrying away from it you know they were they were kind of preventing uh them from getting in there and now they're just all like, kind of running away from the light so it's uh i've got a bunch of different characters here kind of shielding themselves some running away yours is kind of running away this one is and this one is so I haven't really worked on this this figure here yet. That's gonna be my next one, and uh, I started kind of working on this one, but and then I got work to do. I don't know if this is even visible here. Um, yeah. So I, I I really just kind of roughed his face in too, so he's not really finished yet. His hair is not really figured out yet either. So and you can see like how rough, you know, some of the. The stuff is here and i just roughed this blast in you know just really quick right I, I recently added to that but there is sections of it i started actually kind of making uh, a little bit nicer detailed and stuff so you could see some of the explosions and stuff coming from it <laughs> so i have to move into the the rest of it yet but um this was this was one one section i like didn't want to didn't want to screw up you know i was like man this has to has to be done right and uh yeah, I really couldn't couldn't have done, done this without you, brother. Really, really grateful for it. I, I'm grateful and honored to be be a part of it. And yeah. uh, I mean, I don't know. Do you do um, like um, prints when you finish? Um, well, I'll be doing a lot of prints uh, when um, some of them like. So far, I've I've finished fourteen of these, and and some of them, well, they're all really for sale right now, because um, I'm using some of the uh, capital that I'm uh, getting from investors that are buying from them. Um, so those pieces that have sold, I have done prints of so far. But what what will happen is, um, eventually there'll be prints of all of them, for of course. Um, right. But there's also going to be a book I'm doing with. Um, I have a guy who. Uh, uh, professor uh, Chris, Dr. Christopher Kleinhens, um, he's a Dante scholar, and he and I are both going to do a collaborative book. So um, he's written, you know, at least a dozen and a half books on um, all kinds of medieval um, uh, kind of stuff, uh, literature and stuff. And uh, so he and I are going to kind of, you know, do this book where he'll narrate it, and I'll do hell yeah my stuff. And uh, but. Uh, but yeah, it's gonna be cool. But I'll definitely let you know, and uh, I'll get you something when uh, when this is all finished. Anyhow, you know, just as a, as a thank you, I really appreciate that. But uh, actually, I'm gonna to have to get going. I just got to text my my daughter. I think is sick, so I, I better run into the house. All right, and check on them. So I uh, I really appreciate your time, man. It really was awesome to to sit with you tonight, and uh, it's uh, really really gonna be a great piece because of your help man and uh hey, no problem. last time we worked together 
All right, man. I appreciate it. You have yeah, a wonderful yeah. evening. We'll stay in touch, man. Definitely. We'll stay in touch, brother. All right. All right. Thanks, yeah. everyone, for for, for uh, Thanks, everyone. And thanks, An Angela. I appreciate that. Uh, thanks, Maria. Uh, oh, thanks, Lex. Uh, Jamie's. And Bye, everybody Jamie. Else, everybody else who's been here. Thank you so much. You guys take care, right? All right. Bye. Bye-bye.